Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my video. Tonight, I wanted to uh, re-examine the wall wart. Okay, after uh, some experimentation, a little bit of study, um, lots of great comments from everybody. I have uh, changed my theory, and since I'm not a scientist, with a peer-reviewed paper in a scientific journal I do not have to manipulate the data to fit my theory I can just change my theory thank you very much so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change my theory okay after reviewing this I find that when you plug a wall wart into the wall it's on all the time as soon as you plug it in it begins drawing juice and this resistor is where it goes when you plug something into it that bypasses that and then goes to whatever you're you have plugged into it okay so with that said you cannot pulse this because it's on all the time the field never collapses so if the field never collapses you get no back spike you get no pulse okay so um, the back spike or whatever it is that is slowing down the meter must be coming from the coil on the motor must be coming from the motor coil okay and since um, I have the coil wound one way the spike is only go one way since we put and it is a back spike so if you're running energy through a wire or into a coil and then you uh, disconnect the coil uh, the the coil is going to collapse one way every time and since it is a back spike it's going to come back down the wire where the energy originally came from okay so it's not pulsing back to the negative wire it's pulsing back to the positive wire and then that is uh, creating induction because it stimulates the secondary and creating a, a, an induction into the primary which is going to the grid so if your spike um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say if your spike is uh, say 250 volts anything over 120 volts is going to affect the meter okay so if you can pulse your your pulse is uh, over 120 volts back to the transformer of course <clears throat> it would it would be even it would even itself out so when you when you come back through here well actually since this is a 12 volt anything over 12 volts is going to stimulate this and uh, induce a current in this making it well 12 volts would make this 120 volts okay so if we come into here with 24 volts then um, I'm gonna say that this would be 240 volts coming back so anything over or going to the meter so anything over 120 volts is gonna affect the meter that's what I'm thinking now that's that's my new theory um, so I, I would love to hear anybody's and or everybody's comments on that uh, because I did discover that once you plug the wall wart into the wall it is on all the time there's an AC sine wave going into this side coming out of this side and then going through this bridge rectifier through here and then into this resistor and when you plug something into it because if we look at the board here the resistor is over here when you plug into it you're plugging into it over here so when you take the energy off of it you're taking it off over here before it gets to there okay but if you have nothing plugged in here it just goes over to there and into that resistor and there is your resistance for it while it's just plugged into the wall and I think that's why if you read the directions on any wall work that you get especially for um, smartphones and stuff like that it says do not leave the wall plug plugged into the wall 
if the phone is not plugged into it. And I think that's why, because you'll you'll fry the the uh, uh, resistor in there eventually over time, depending on how well the the wall transformer is made. Okay, so um, but I I think I've changed by that to my theory now. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, it was very interesting. Racking my brain on this had some really great comments that really got me thinking and I thought I'd better post a video of it. Now I'm going to leave my other video up uh, because uh, uh, it's okay to make a mistake as long as we learn from it. Don't let it hold us back and continue on. So um, I'll put this up as uh, the rethink on the transformer and uh, uh, hopefully uh, I'll get some uh, feedback. Well, I guess that's it for my video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.